<laughs> All right, well, this doesn't work clearly. My uh, implementation is not cash money. Howdy. Welcome to the devlog, where I and my partner... ...attempt to make a video game. Where do we start? I created a Trello board to help me keep track of what the heck's going on. Goals for this week are Unity tile set research and procedural map generation. With that being said, let's get started with a little tile set research. Okay, so the past week I've been doing a little bit of research on tile maps. So I feel like I kind of have an idea of how I want to start this, so I'm actually just going to jump right into trying to generate a map. This only took me like 30 minutes to implement, which was kind of surprising. I really hadn't seen too many videos where people were using the tile maps and script and scripting um, the placement. Most videos I saw, they were using the brush and drawing them. Uh, so this went a lot better than I expected. This still isn't what I'm looking for though, because the stone is just randomly scattered through there. I'm trying to get that procedurally generated look. So what I'm gonna have to look into now is cellular automator or automata or something like that. Yeah, it's the exact same. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. I'm pretty sure there's a bug. Back to work. Look at that. It's doing something. Yeah. <laughs> So today we're going to try to do uh, mountain generation, which is basically just going to consist of me checking the more cells, so the eight around it, and if any tile around it is not stone, then a mountain is not going to be spawned. But if all the tiles around it are stone, then we will spawn the mountain. So the first thing I need to do is create a little temporary mountain sprite. Maybe, let's see. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I'm pretty sure I fixed the bug, dude. Rookie, dude. I'm a rookie. Oh my gosh. Look at that, dude. That looks so good, bro. Dude. Wow. Wow, dude. <laughs> Wow, that looks Wow. That looks good. That's what happens, I guess, dude. Caught a little bit of a bug. Caught a bug. Thank goodness I tried to spawn the mountains because it caught the bug and I probably otherwise wouldn't have been able to catch El Buggo. I'm happy. This looks good. I think we can move on to vegetation. Okay, so we have this veggie tile that's ready to go. Oh, Ooh, okay. Why does this look kind of good? It kind of looks good, and I don't know why, dude. It looks kind of good. All right, that looks good. Maybe we can uh, spawn a river in here or something. Yeah, baby. Woo. Uh. <laughs> That's kind of gangster, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this doesn't work clearly. My uh, implementation is not cash money. It's funny though. <laughs> Imagine if you saw a river like this. <laughs> this looks like a lazy river more than anything. But basically, what I try to do is start at the end point and then move backwards, and then based on this turn percentage, uh, decide if, we're, if we needed to turn. There's better ways to do this. There's A star algorithms and stuff. I just didn't want to put the time into it. Uh, but clearly if we want good-looking rivers, I'm probably gonna have to do that, but we'll see, you know We'll, we'll just have to see what happens. I feel like uh, at this point other things might be more important 
Oh, Tanner, you're so smart. How did you do it? Well, great question. It was all me. Joe did nothing. Let's just get that on the table right now. So the first thing that happens is we start out with a grid. Then we move through every position in the grid and randomly generate either a dirt or a stone. Now we can smooth out the map by checking every single tile and then counting the eight around it. So for me, if there aren't four other tiles that are just like the one that you're checking right now, then it gets replaced with the opposite tile. So in the picture, we're checking the circled dirt in the middle and there's only three other dirts in the eight cells around it. So because at least half of the tiles around it are not dirt, I'm going to replace it with the opposite tile, which is a stone in this case. So you iterate through every cell in your map and you can do this multiple times and that's how you create smoother maps. So for spawning the mountain tile, I checked the eight cells around it again, but now every tile around it needs to be stone, otherwise a mountain will not spawn and that's how you create this mountain stone outline. Last thing to do is go through every dirt tile and then randomly generate vegetation. That's it for this week's devlog guys. Uh, week one is complete. It was actually pretty successful. Next week, I'm gonna start looking into multiplayer. Um, so, wish me luck with that. Let me know down in the comments what you liked from this video, what you didn't like, any suggestions that you could see me improving on. Um, all that, like this video, subscribe, share, do whatever. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.